What is up guys, Orbital Pilot back here once again in the world of War Thunder. This time, taking to the skies and my first impressions on the MiG-15 BIS on the German side. But before we do that, let's take a second to look at the new update on War Thunder. So in the latest update, uh, they put a new sky into War Thunder. They changed the lighting, they changed how the way the clouds actually work. So, online, it said that there were two ways uh, clouds work in video games. One of them are drawings which look extremely good but they're not interactive and the other one is is that they're actually interactive but they don't look as good as uh, as you know drawings of clouds do so previously in War Thunder clouds had a pretty big hindrance on performance uh, especially with the FPS and if you guys have noticed I had my clouds set to around medium medium to high and uh, the clouds off in the distance just never looked really good. So with this new update, I actually noticed an in, actually a a uh, increase in FPS by about five or six. And man, look at the clouds off in the distance; they look amazing. And now the shadows actually follow the clouds around. So that is absolutely spectacular. The clouds are actually interactive now; they kind of form around your plane as you're going through them. Uh, the shadows actually follow the clouds around and they just look way better off in the distance so please keep in mind none of those clouds off in the distance are drawings those are actually all interactive if you were to go over there uh, they would look just like the clouds underneath me right now so that is awesome okay so into the MiG-15 performance I started this climb at around uh, 670 miles an hour just about the top speed of the MiG-15 bis at sea level please keep in mind this is all stock and put in about a 35 degree climb and at 200 miles an hour I hit exactly 7,000 meters that is a ridiculous climb rate uh, we all know the MiG-15 is great at climbing but that is spectacular for a stock plane um, I don't my stock saber can't match that so I mean really this is probably one of the best if not the best climbers in the game and uh, let's see if we can get that speed back. So diving from 7,000 meters at about a negative 25 degree angle, we are hitting our top speed, 664, um, at about 3,500 meters. So we don't even have to use that full altitude to get back to our top speed. Now, I could have dove out to 700 miles an hour, but at the moment, the MiG-15 cannot support that speed. Uh, when it's fully upgraded, I will get closer to that speed, but at the moment, it's just not possible. So, with this, with this kind of engine performance, you would expect the MiG-15 to be uh, kind of unstoppable, and it is, don't get me wrong. And right now I'm testing the turning capabilities. Now, of course, this is a jet, so this is not gonna be your main way of fighting, but I do like to test it, and the MiG-15 is one of the most maneuverable uh, jets in the game. It's almost, I think if I was actually able to, you know, not do the G-Lock thing, um, I might be able to come really, really close to catching my smoke trail. I, I don't know, though, because sadly enough, my uh, I do get knocked out before that happens, and this is with a fully upgraded crew. Okay, so the one thing that hinders the MiG-15 is its roll rate. Its roll rate is just terrible. Uh, it's probably the worst thing about this plane. It's, it's so bad sometimes that it's hard to fight with. Uh, the rudder does keep it in track luckily enough it does keep the plane pretty straight even on full left or right rudder and the guns are just they have amazing one-shot capability uh, they fire pretty straight and uh, well they're they're good and bad they're they're good in the one-shot manner uh, but they're bad because of the lack of ammo and if you don't know how to shoot them you can go through that ammo extremely Quickly. So I've played about 10 games in this plane. I've kept almost a 1 to 1 KD ratio, uh, which is good, don't get me wrong, but it's something that I try to keep in new planes uh, just to see how the plane performs. Now, please keep in mind that I went from never flying a MiG uh, to jumping into the MiG-15, and I've been able to keep a 1 to 1 KD ratio, which is really, really good, considering a lot of times you'll jump into a new jet, uh, like, for instance, when I jump into the A5 Sabre, I was not able to keep a 1 to 1 KD ratio. In fact, I don't think I've even made it back up to that. So, checking the 90 degree angle uh, 
climbing capability of this plane. I started this climb at about 560 miles or 660 miles an hour, um, and I get roughly to about 5,600 uh, meters in a straight up climb. Now, I feel like I probably could have got to 6,000 meters, but I did waste quite a bit of speed doing a full G lock turn uh, at sea level. So that's probably what kept me from hitting that. So once this plane is fully upgraded, I will probably be able to hit that full 6,000, 6,500 meters, if not more. Uh, but right now in stock, that's still an incredible performance. So, diving back down exactly from our maxed, uh, you know, how much we climbed, I want to see if I'm able to get that speed immediately back. And then the answer to that is yes. So it doesn't matter whether you start off on a close, a close climb, sorry guys, um, at 35 degrees, you are able to get both your speed back in a shallow dive and a steep dive, which is what I wanted to show in this video. Uh, now, the air brakes are decent. So they're not great, definitely not the Sabres, which are kind of like hitting a brick wall. Uh, these will slowly slow you down, which, you know, is good. They'll keep you from ripping your wings off, uh, but don't expect them to perform like the Sabres. Okay, so let's go on and uh, jump into some real combat. I am sorry for anybody that lives in these houses, but I just love the guns on this plane. So, jumping into some real combat, the first thing that you will notice is that I kind of got led into a game when I really shouldn't have. I don't know what the time boundaries are for a game in War Thunder, but it's spawning me in really, really late. And so, I'm already off to a disadvantage starting the match. And uh, there's a bunch of Meteors and F-86 F-2s and a bunch of other planes over here. So I'm just going to go jump right into the middle of it. Not the best idea, um, but it's not a terrible idea with the MiG-15 either. So my worst enemy so far in War Thunder with this plane is a Meteor if another plane is around. Obviously, if I'm just versing one Meteor, I can outrun it. But the Meteors are so capable, especially... Uh, the Mark G41s, they're just scary because they do turn better than you, which most planes don't against the MiG, and they're not so much slower that they won't be able to keep up with you for just uh, a couple of seconds. Enough time to get those Hispanos into you. So watch out for Meteors because they are extremely deadly against this plane. Okay, so an A5 Sabre and a Meteor, I think this is the short wing, I believe. Uh, I never actually get close enough to tell. So diving down across the F-86 A5 Saber, um, you'll notice a lot of a lot of spraying, and that's just because I'm terrible with these guns. Um, I'm fine once I get into a turn, but if I am directly behind him, I can't seem to hit the broadside of a barn. So I don't know why, but it's just something that I can't do. Okay, so another plane comes up. This is something you also have to watch in the MiG, is you can dogfight the Sabres like I'm doing right now, uh, but watch out for other planes because you will beat the Sabre in this kind of fight. So he pulls over in a long vertical turn. Uh, not the best idea against a MiG. I'm easily able to take off one of his wings. Now, there is one of those meteors that I talked about. So I see another ally coming up. I pull hard vertical, or uh, yeah, vertical in order to get the Meteor off. Now, I cannot run him now, um, but I kind of wanted to bait him for my teammate. If that's, if you're in that situation, that's the best way to go. Always look for a teammate and always try to set the teammate up for him. Remember, if you're calling for help, try not to go away from your ally or directly under him because it makes it extremely hard for your ally to actually come and help you. So, another thing with the MiG that I've noticed is that the wings are extremely fragile. I mean, okay, in, in your Sabre, if you take a 50 cal hit, you're probably going to be fine. You can still keep in the fight. But if your MiG-15 wing gets damaged, it's, it's pretty much over. I mean, I know people have said this before, but I didn't know quite how drastically they meant. Uh, this, the wings are extremely fragile. Not in high G turns, but in actual... Uh, damage model, especially against 50 cals, that, I mean, before, 50 cals never really scared me, but now, uh, I know that even if they get one or two hits on me, it's gonna be a very, very long day. You may not go down, 
but you will have a very hard time maneuvering. So, the acceleration rate on the MiG-15 closing in on hunters and stuff is not going to be possible. Um, you don't have the top speed to keep up with the F-2 or the hunter or the MiG-17 or the CL-13, uh, but the acceleration, you actually do match all of those planes. So, the hunter in the turn, not the best idea. This is where this guy went wrong. He should have kept in a straight line. Uh, he does have the highest top speed. I don't think there's a MiG-17 in this game. So he would have been able to outrun everybody in this game. Um, but now he's low and slow. And like I said before, the MiG-15 does have a much better acceleration rate. And although I'm terrible with these guns, seven shells on my 37 millimeter and 41 shells on my 23 are plenty, plenty to take him down. It just goes to show that don't underestimate this plane even when they have low ammo because, yeah, one of those 37s should be able to hit you. Now, this plane does seem to need shells. Uh, that is one of the things I'm going to upgrade right away because I have got sparks in the past, and that is extremely annoying because if you do get that 37 to hit, you kind of want a, uh, a one-hit kill. So go in with my 15 shells my 23 millimeter, and uh, get a couple hits on that guy. So I get the kill assist. So I think this was my sixth or seventh match. I'm just learning how to fly the plane, and I'm able to get two kills on uh, two very, very good planes. Now, my top, top recommendation if you're going against this plane is don't get slow and uh, don't start turning with it because it does have a better acceleration rate, and it will outturn you. So just keep your speed up, and you should be fine. It gets the big 15. So guys, if you like what you saw in this video, or if you have anything to say to me, tell me how uh, you like this plane, or if you don't like it, let me know in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time.